at the foot of the altar of knowledge. Greenpeace. Everything is awful and I hate to be the sad poet, but I am the sad poet. Desperately unhappy, liver damaged and with tears in my eyes again. Everything is awful, cancerous and cantankerous, a life wasted on words moving the world overnight. Everything is awful and the marina sand is broken glass beneath my feet. Angry sunlight falling from the sky, you killed the musicians I fell in love with. Death is a junkie. He picks the scag scabs off and flicks another vein, mainlining pure poison straight into the back of his knee, bleeds a little and removes the needle before the empty chamber loses its airtight seal and leaks deadly bubbles of oxygen into the bloodstream. He took the hit for another quick fix, grabbed his kicks and hit the road and with one long touch he cut the life from behind his eyes. It's something like the pain that remains when you change cause you can't be the same until junkie death reclaims your brittle bones. He rolled up the sleeves of his robe, removed the hood and discarded it all together. But he couldn't find a spot for another shot so he had to rub his gums to take the edge off. Junkie deaths abroad with hordes of bored whores and he scored some draw to give to the poor and now he can't afford his angry fix. Last time I saw him he was living in squalor and he could barely be bothered to point his finger at my chest to say you're next. Serotonin. Take this pain and taste it. Take your name and change it before the rain hits hard and your scarred heart departs and starts a wager you rage about. So take this page and save it, gracelessly pacing the pavement with the waifs and strays who claim the government controls their brains and when the sun comes out so does the madness. We are the daytimers and we take this rant and plant it. He's got his hands in his pockets and her hair in a locket and he thinks he's still got it because his parents didn't tell him he's beneath her. He rifles the bins of charity shops, hops the fence to the generator and he's on his own again in the sunlight. General election tension. Get up, get laid, get going. Get ready and wasted and forget to pay the rent. Get low and get high. Get tears in your eyes and forget all the lies. Get the best friend a man could ever get. Get wet with your breath held or get two tired soldiers to get the door for you. Get dressed and get your best foot forward. Get bread and cheese and milk to get fed envelopes. Get letters through your letterbox but don't forget to pay the bills on time. Get cigarettes and get breathless with the bends. Get friends who get your back when you get lonely. Muslim stew. The grinding of the gears is a powerful thing which will leave you tired and broken like when you tidy other people's shit, when you tidied your own shit on your own time. Unstable machinery breaking down in public as wheels turn and babies cry out from push chairs like the world revolves around them. The gnashing of the teeth when you're confronted with hate and you're tempted just to hate straight back. I'm more worried about the damage I've done to myself than Muslim jihadists coming up for air at Baker Street and the evil that's inside us knows no bounds. If we were well adjusted, there'd be no need for poetry. Poets are the terrorists of truth. Closing your mind against impurity. The fullness of hope is more than a hot chestnut melting the vowels of your heart. It's a place you can go where there are no hangovers and everyone knows your name but refuses to use it. It's the ice cold water you flick at the foreheads of fevers, the slim chance at salvation when the robots upgrade themselves until their hardware can't cope with the software of hope. So don't panic when your lighter doesn't work and the winter wind keeps blowing out your matches. Be the audacity and shred your fingers on a tinderbox and you will find your way. You can't bury pets in the sunlight and when you slip on the ice there'll be no one there to catch you. Last train to Brixton. Get yourself up em cause your drunk cousin's buzzing in the city that never sleeps will meet me in the morning, thoughts forming and you misunderstood me. Even seeing the feelings I used to dream about seems to mean something different and in the distance my influence is impotent. It's the journey and the destination, braving delayed trains in underground stations at one of the clock in the morning, the last train to Brixton burrowing beneath the city, the 1.11am from Victoria to Brighton packed with passengers cradling suitcases between their legs. Public transportation became my way of life sometime back in 2005. Automatic Popo Gun-toting cops with their sniffer dogs, too many to count and it's 5 o'clock in the morning and I was woken abruptly by the barrel of a semi-automatic pointing towards the floor I slept on. Now, I'm no compliance officer but don't you think, given the circumstances, you could have left the gun at home? I'm armed, I've got a pen, and I'm dangerous so shoot me now before I write this down. My family can press charges later. Blood bike day. 
They're the girls and guys who save lives on motorbikes, riding through the night with a pedal to the metal and the keys in the ignition. No desire for recognition, just the repetition of vital missions out on the road alone. These guys are the heroes when it's below zero and the shift is nearly over and the phone goes off and they're back on the road to the hospital. They deliver blood and milk and supplies to save the NHS from being privatised, saving lives and saving money at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen of the NABB, I salute you.